these are the most commonly used ventilation modes volume control pressure control or SIMV let's quickly go over with volume control we know there is a guaranteed tidal volume and minute ventilation while that is not guaranteed in pressure control the peak inspiratory pressure the, which means the proximal airway pressure the highest proximal airway pressure during inspiration will come to it shortly in the next video um, is variable and can go really high while here it's constant we know it will not exceed the value we decided of the inspiratory pressure remember just go to plus the peep that will be the the inspiratory pressure during uh, inspiration the proximal airway pressure during inspiration also it's reported that with pressure control earlier weaning compared to slower weaning here although I don't know how static statistically different but in both they said there was no significant change in mortality oxygenation or work of breathing so they are the same so simply using this or this there is no mortality difference oxygenation and work of breathing is still the same so whether you decide this or this depends uh, on multiple factors but again these comparison were done when the volume control was using a square flow target these differences goes away especially here in this area if we're using decelerating ramp that's why we prefer using decelerating ramp on in volume control so SIMV it has the advantages of this or this whether we're using pressure control or volume control plus they saying that the patient during his extra breath will be using his own work of breath so that's kind of an exercise to his respiratory muscle and possibly that will lead to easier and early weaning the bottom line don't use SIMV for critically ill patients because that critically ill patient needs every single uh, amount of energy to fight his critical illness so SIMV if the patient start to improve getting better from his critical illness we can use SIMV or if somebody intubated for um, some reason here and there and not really critically ill so that's a bottom line so first of all either we pick this volume control or pressure control at the beginning there's no C as there's no differences ma major differences SIMV as I said you can use it as well with these advantages here but not for critically ill patient and the, and the last thing I want to finish with is now we have some new modes that try to get the advantages from pressure control and volume control and put them in single mode see the advantage of guaranteed tidal volume and the advantage of the the proximal airway pressure during inspiration to have them to keep them under control so some new modes of ventilation we'll talk about them also shortly kind of combine these advantages from both elements of pressure control and volume control and put them into one mode of ventilation